Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a quick method for multiplying two binomials. So we have the problem, expand each of the following expressions and for these four problems we have the product of two binomials. So now if we could focus over here for a second, what are we going to need to solve this problem? Well, when we have two binomials in the form of x plus a, x plus b, Notice how in some sense there's a positive 1 in front of both of these x's. There's a really fast technique we could use to simplify this, where basically we have x squared plus, and now the term before our x is simply the sum of the a and the b term. So you have a plus bx plus a times b. In an alternate video, I do show how to multiply binomials by the foiling method, which you could find by clicking here. But for this video, I want to focus on a fast way of doing these problems now. So, let's say we have x plus 8, x minus 2. Well, we can start off with x squared. But now we want to know what's going to go in front of our x. Well, we're going to add the a and the b term. So we have 8 plus a negative 2, or simply 8 minus 2 is a positive 6. So this tells us we have a positive 6x, and now we have 8 times negative 2 is minus 16. So now we can move on to the next problem. We have our first term is of course going to be an x squared, because we have x times x. But now if we want to find our middle term, once again, we can say what is the a plus b in this example? Well, we would have an a value of 27 and a b value of negative 3. So 27 plus negative 3 would be a positive 24. So we have positive 24x, because remember, a plus b is the term before x. And now we have 27 times negative 3 is a negative 81. So that takes care of this example. And now you'll begin to see that instead of foiling every time, once you build fluidity, you want to use this technique because it's really going to speed things up. So we have x times x is x squared. And now the middle term, 5 plus 9 is 14. So we have a plus 14x. And now 5 times 9 is a positive 45. So we have x squared plus 14x plus 45. So now for the last one, our first term is x squared, and now we have a negative 12 plus a negative 4, that's a negative 16, so we have minus 16x, and now negative 12 times negative 4 is a positive 48. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on using a fast technique for multiplying binomials, so just remember, we want to utilize this concept because ultimately in math we want to challenge ourselves and be able to do the same problems but a little bit quicker each time. Okay, so thank you all for watching.